Hello, I'm Felicia and we also have Laura with us. Today we'll be exploring Google Slides. It is an app that, is, that can be used to create uh, various presentations with your students. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to enable notifications for our channel by clicking our logo during the video. Also leave us a comment or check out our related videos by clicking the pop-up cards in the upper right-hand corner. Here's how to get started with Google Slides. Hi, and welcome to um, Google, Google Slides. We're going to do an interactive slide presentation. So I'm going to begin by changing the name from Untitled So we're going to delete these two text boxes and I'm going to um, insert shapes because what I'm going to do is to make my assignments based on days of the week. So what I did was select insert shape and now I'm going to hit control D and what control D does is just duplicate that shape. I'm going to change the background color because we're doing the days of the week. So I want the students to be able to differentiate between the days um, of their assignments. So I'm selecting the uh, fill color and it changes the background color. I'm now going to insert a text box. The goal is that once the students select the days of the week, it would automatically take them to the slide that begins their assignment for that day. So I'm gonna go over and add another slide. Again, I'm going to select these text boxes and I'm going to delete them. And I'm going to go back to slide one and I'm going to highlight Monday. That way it just copies the, it's still color coded as when I begin that slide. So I highlight it, I'm going to hit control C as in Charles. And that copies it and control V as in Victor will paste it to this slide. I am going to select control D and that duplicates that slide. So now let's say I want the students to do a KWL chart for Monday one, as one of their assignments. So I'll go to insert, I'm gonna go to table and just select a table. I'm going to type in KWL. I'll highlight this entire row so that we can get rid of the lines. So you'll um, right click and select merge cells and then you can come up to your um, to the toolbar and we're going to select a line and center that. So now that's one of their assignments for Monday. I'm also going to insert a, a call out. So I'm gonna go back to insert, go to shape, and I'm gonna select call outs. And so what I have to do is draw this out as well. So let's do that. Select the hour just to make it a little bigger. I'm going to change the field color in that as well. Now I'm going to add a text box. And I'm just going to type a message uh, just telling them to just some instructions. So the video that I'm telling them to, that I want them to watch, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna insert it on this page as well. So you can select insert, 
right. select video. You have the option of searching for a video on YouTube. You can search by URL, or if you have one on your Google Drive, you can select that as well. But I'm going to go back. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and add a video from Google, my Google Drive. So I'll select the video. And now that video that I selected from my Google Drive is now in my presentation. So let's go to slide three. We want them to go to um, a link. So let's go, actually what I need to do first is insert a text box. Then I'm going to insert, insert link. And so if you already had a link that you wanted to use, um, you would just paste that link where it says link, and then you can type the text. So I'm just going to type in clever. If you Again, if you have the link, you can just paste it here. So being that it's, uh, I already have it there, I'm just going to select this, hit apply. And that way, if you want the students to go to clever, um, they will click the link and it would take them directly to that website. You can actually link the Clever website from um, Ori County Schools, but this is just an example for you. Okay, so we're going to add another slide. And I'm going to delete the text box. I'm going to go back up to slide one and I'm going to select Tuesday. And I'm going to copy Tuesday by hitting Control and C, C as in Charles, Control V to paste it onto slide four. Um, I'm going to go back again. I'm going to select Wednesday, highlight Wednesday, Control C. I need to add a new slide, so I'm going to do that. Delete the text box again, and I'm going to paste Wednesday up here on slide five. So now let's go back and link the slides. So for Monday's assignment, I want them to go directly to slide two. So I'm going to highlight Monday, select insert, select link, and it gives you the option to paste a link or select the slides in this presentation. So I'm going to select slides in this presentation. It tells you the next slide, last slide, and it gives you the number of the slides. So what I'm going to do is select slide two because that begins the assignments for Monday. I'll select apply. And so when the students click on Monday, it takes them automatically to slide um, two for Monday. Let's go back to slide one, and we're going to do the same thing for Tuesday. Highlight Tuesday, go to insert, select link. Again, we want to do slides in this presentation. Scroll down, select slide four, hit apply. And when they click on it, they will go to slide four. So now let's go back to slide one. We'll do this again. Highlight Wednesday, insert, select link. We're going to do the slides in the presentation and we're going to select slide five. So these are just some basic ways that you can uh, create an interactive slide presentation um, to give to your students to help with uh, virtual learning. Please visit our Dear Dis page to um, find additional resources that would assist you during this time as well. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, or reply to one of our other videos, or share the playlist below. Subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so that you don't miss out on the next episode. Don't forget to check out our other resources like Discast Podcast and see what else is going on in Horry County Schools. Be sure to follow at Deer Disses on social media or contact us via email or our blog.